say it there, guitar tubers, huh? All right, today, the key of E, all right, the key of E, the E major scale, okay? okay. So we're gonna learn that. This is gonna be like one of the really cool fingerings that um, I don't really hardly ever see anybody use again, okay? So this will be the Endless Riffer uh, scale, okay? Now, it's used a lot, but uh, people are doing it in different spots, but it's, it's so simple that um, I think people kind of forget about it, <laughs> you know, and they want to complicate everything. Okay, so it's E major scale, it's a seven notes, okay? It's a seven note scale. I'm not a real big fan of the do, re, mi type of stuff, but uh, you know, there's seven degrees to the scale, okay? So. <laughs> The thing is, is that this is like the coolest fingering and the coolest way to learn it to get started. Okay, because we got to set up here in a cool way to create a bunch of jam patterns, okay? Because when people learn scales, they just end up, you know... They end up doing that kind of thing, okay? And I mean, these really are the same notes, but they're just in a, a set up in a really cool way to create, okay? So we'll, I'll probably do a part two. I just want to show it to you today, okay? So key of E. There's your E major chord. Okay. So the first degree of the scale, that's your open E. Okay. You're going to take your second finger. You're going to go to the second fret of the sixth string, and you're going to use your second finger. F sharp note. All right, and then we got the uh, fourth fret with the pinky. So I know that's kind of odd right off the bat, but you'll see it's really cool. Like I said, you were in E major and you could just play those three notes. Okay? If Slayer did that, they wouldn't know they were in E major. would always add more notes and, and get out of that uh, majestic sound. Okay, we know that. Anyway, same thing on the fifth string now. All right, folks, we're going to go uh, open two and four on the fifth string. Open two, four with the second and fourth uh, finger. How can, we, how can me and open two, four? Okay, with the second and fourth finger. Okay, and we're going to go to the fourth string. And we're going to grab just one and two, first and second fret. Okay, that's E major. Okay, what cooler way uh, is there to learn it than that? All right, so right off the bat, you can start uh, making up killer stuff. And by the way, there's this whole thing going on around, you know, everywhere... Uh, you know, uh, talking about scales suck. I think scales are really cool, just, just so you know. Right, get that out of the way, all right? Okay, so like I said, on the four string. One, two, four. Okay, so far. And then guess what, third string. One, two, four. All right, all right, so open two four, open two four, one two four, one two four. Okay, then we go to the second string now. Then we got the index, uh, the third finger, and fourth finger at two four and five. All right, tubers. And we're gonna do the same thing on the first string now as we just did on the second string. Uh, two, four, and five. Okay. Like I said, it's a seven-string scale. I mean, a seven-note scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here's the one again. There's the E again. Okay. And then we just happen to go. Get to the second string with that pinky on the fifth fret. We got an E again. Okay, so we just ended the scale there again. Uh, it's really a seven note scale, but we're gonna get one, two, three. We're gonna get four more notes, okay? We're gonna end up here at the seventh fret, okay, of the first string with the pinky. And then just to get back into the scale, we kind of jumped out of that pattern. We're going to use the second finger and 
grab another E at the uh, second string at the fifth fret. <laughs> So I'm going to demonstrate the whole uh, killer rocking pattern for E major. Okay. And yeah, that's what I did at the beginning of the uh, video too. All right. So it's E major. Okay. So got the open E. We got an E there again at the uh, fourth string at the second fret. Another E there, second second string fifth fret. We're still walking up now, and then we're gonna reach back down. We got our pinky up there at seven. I already covered this. And then with our second finger, we're gonna grab five to get that E. That's where the E's are, okay? So once you get it down all in an order, okay, then break that habit and maybe start working around the E's, okay? Tubers, you get the picture, okay? I know I'm sounding kind of scaly, just kind of playing them all in a row, but you got to be creative and twist them around and use them to your benefit, tubers, okay? So the coolest way to learn the uh, E major scale, okay? Like I said, I went I went through it kind of quick, so, uh, you know, rewind this if you have to, and uh, for Riffs Unlimited, I am the Endless Riffer. <laughs>